Both the AS Academy Feminine and the Hackery United FC showcased an entertaining game following Bila Basa Women FC's win over the Kiwis in the Elia contest. The New Caledonia side secured the icebreaker goal superbly two minutes into the opening half, signaling the home side that they have been tied on the notch and there was no time wasting. This goal gave the AS Academy the first half lead as Hackery trailed scoreless. In the second half, Hackery retaliated to even the score courtesy of a goal point penalty kick. But Destiny smiled on the AS Academy outfit when Ashley Goward secured an arrow into the roof of the net of the Hackery edge, giving her side the opening day win as host nation's Hackery United fell short by one point. AS Academy's powerful substitute Ashley Goat admitted that even though she was intimidated by the home crowd support, she stayed focused until game time. I reussi à faire avec. Ils m'ont pas déstabilisé. J'étais à fond. Yeah, she was obviously intimidated, uh, intimidated by that, but uh, she got over it and um, and she stayed focused. AS Academy coach Carolee Bratignier said she was proud of her team's performances despite the game being physically challenging. It was a game like physically challenging. I'm proud, proud of my players that gave their all till the end. Hackery FC coach Ericsson Coming, on the other hand, shared that the loss is a challenge to them and they will regroup to come back stronger in their upcoming games. Uh, they played well today. Uh, uh, that's football. Uh, one team has to win and uh, one team has to lose. And, uh, we didn't get the result today, uh, but I'm proud of the girls. Uh, we just have to go back and uh, come back stronger in the next game. Meantime, today saw the five football clubs undergo their training sessions at respective stadiums in Port Moresby ahead of day two of the tournament tomorrow. Lisa Punichukai Sports. Ladies and gentlemen, please wrap up our matches.